All right, so today I'm going to show you um, boondoggles that involve color switching or color rearranging. Um, and so I kind of went through my collection and there are a lot of boondoggles that could you could kind of stretch it. Um, and it would like kind of technically fit in this category, but I wanted to show um, just kind of the, the boondoggles that I have that really um, use color switching or color rearranging, um, you know, for the purpose of, of doing it, for the purpose of switching out the colors. So kind of a, uh, the two subcategories here would be boondoggles that actually swap out um, strands of one color for strands of a different color um, versus boondoggles that keep all the same strands but just rearrange them. So here's the first example. Um, this one is a super brick project, but one of the, the three kind of columns is yellow and the other two are black. And so I, I did these kind of color rearranging stitches periodically, like every six or every eight stitches, I would switch the location of where the yellow was at. So that one's got some color rearranging. Here's the classic um, American flag boondoggle. This was made pretty much directly from the tutorial made by the Laneyards YouTube channel. Um, mine isn't the most consistent, unfortunately. When it, At the beginning, when it starts, it's it's wider, and then I have the, the um, stitches pulled tighter and tighter as I go along, and so it kind of gets skinnier. But the part that we're focusing on here is where all these red and white strands um, get switched out for the blue strands and how it worked in the case of this boondoggle was um, The the red and white strands are kind of tucked in neatly inside of the new blue Stitching So that's how that one works um, Here's an example of one that has the old colors neatly tucked in so when it switches from red to yellow to green, um, the transition is kind of seamless for this stoplight project. Um, but then here's one that's not really seamless. The way that I did this one, um, if you notice, is each time, this is kind of a rainbow thingy, but each time one of the colors ends, I actually just snipped the strands off. Um, real close, real tight um, in each of these places. So that's how I did it. Um, but when the white was transitioning into a new color, those ones I did tuck in. So I'm not really sure why I didn't just do a consistent thing the whole way through. It was a really long time ago that I made this boondoggle, but um, this kind of shows the two different ways to change colors both on one boondoggle. This one I really like. This is a four by one wall um, that, that zigzags. And then there's both the transparent yellow as well as the transparent blue um, string in there. So it switches back and forth. And I was able to, to neatly tuck in the old strands in the places where I started the new strands. Um, here's an example of one that's not really color switching, it's just rearranging. Um, so here it's a big diamond. So it starts out with just a square stitch, but then as the stitch gets wider and wider, it ad adds more colors. And then in the middle, just for fun, I, I kind of switched where the colors were at, and then I switched it back to the old way. So those are those ones. And then the last three I'm going to show are, um, these are all color rearranging boondoggles. Um, where the the colors stay the same throughout the thing, but they get rearranged and um, stuff to create new patterns as it goes down. But these are all created, um, I guess, through like seamlessly rearranging the actual stitches. Um, I first learned this from the Lanyard YouTube channel made by um, Young Tan Setbon, but um, I think this is a really cool technique that's um, kind of still unexplored in the boondoggle community. Um, it's, 
I, it's something that I really want to explore a lot more in my boondoggles, but this is kind of what it looks like. So you're able to do um, a stitch, a, 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 like it's a normal quad stitch starting here, but then there's like a couple of special stitches that um, have a little inner kind of stitch in there that rearranges the placement of the strings. So this is the first one that I did, the shorter one. And then I did this one. So this is a three by three or non-stitch, but I just really love again how seamless this color changing technique is because obviously, for example, with this one, you can see each place where the color switched around. You can kind of see the strands awkwardly stretched over to achieve the effect of the color changing places. But here, you just can't even tell. It, there's just nothing um, indicative of, of how or why those colors changed. It's almost as if they just magically um, changed places, which is pretty neat. And the last one I did is this one right here. This is my squid. Um, so, as you can see, it's a, a five by five stitch. And I used the color switching technique to make those eyes. And then I, rather than continue the entire project down this way and make kind of an, an abstract patterned project, I thought it looked kind of like a pair of eyes, and so I decided to make a squid. And so I made all these, these circle stitches coming out the bottom. But anyway, I'll go ahead and um, make a little pile here. Again, um, this is another technique I think that has a lot of potential to be explored more and more in the future by me and by other boondogglers and so I encourage you all to um, not restrict yourself to one color setup at the beginning of your project and to feel free to switch around the placement of the colors as you go so thanks bye